So this is the vegetable flavor. You can see why we, the reason why we call them rubber band noodles. Yeah. Right at the top, I'm going to say the same thing, but don't buy it. You're wasting your money. But, and this is all you got, and you're hungry, and you need to eat, right? It's food. You're to make a poop, right? Well, okay. one of them might not, but a couple of, it's yeah. six or eight of them might. A couple might. of them might. Okay, now, the onion, the added onion, that had given it a lot of more flavor. Like the chicken one that I had, that shit was flat, tasted like crap. But right. it's like rubber bands with fucking dishwater fucking somebody dunked a, a cooked chicken in it. Right now. But right. the onions did add, add a little bit of flavor. The, the extra soy sauce and the half a sriracha pack right, gave it a little bit of something. Right. But not enough. That's just because we didn't have enough. We didn't have enough sriracha to put in it. Right. That one right there. That's soy sauce. No, the red one. Oh. Well, then we cheated ourselves. All right, don't use all of it. All right, I don't know. Yeah, I need to switch them in. And yeah, we're going to make ourselves a little, uh, you know, hobo onion nacho. Yeah, that should be enough. You're going to squirt. <laughs> Another? Yeah. And there you go. Now, let's see what that does. Smear that around with a fancy fork. <laughs> The little pick fork. Ah, see now it's giving it a little bit more color. You know the the other herbs and the corn in it, there is not enough. There's but, one kernel of corn. Right, that's what I got. One kernel of corn. I have to eat like two or three pieces of fucking parsley or whatever the hell you it see is. See what's on the on the front there? That's about what they put in there. That's bullshit. I didn't even have that. That's it. It's on the bottom. Ramen. You're better off with the 20 for a dollar. Mm -hmm. Food shitty brand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Now for all of you guys sitting out there wondering, well, well what makes you such an expert on ramen soups? This We've eaten every you, single flavor. We've eaten every single flavor like a thousand times a piece. We lived in a bush. Not this one here. But about, oh, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, we lived under a tree next to Aziz Records for a year, right? While we were under that tree, we literally ate probably 300 cases of ramen and Manchurian and fucking uh, udon noodles, you name it. Every different kind of ramen that there was, we ate, we cooked, we found a way to cook it. We had a website. We had a that, rocket stove. Right, we had a rocket stove that we made out of bricks. We had a website. Right? That nobody put clicked on for some odd known reason that had literally hundreds of different variations and, re and recipes on what we came up with to make ramen. So, if you don't think I'm an expert, well, you know what? <laughs> on you. I am an expert. I'm an expert on this. Right? Plus, I watched, I don't know, probably about 50, about 50 of those udon noodle videos of the little tiny Japanese girl that's about this big that eats a bowl of ramen and it's fucking big around. But I've seen a bunch of those, so I know what it tastes like. Now these right here, these noodles suck. I don't know what they're made out of, right? Uh, let's see. The noodles. This is the noodles. Organic soybeans, organic rice flour. Dude, these noodles suck. They're not wheat. Right, no. So this is a gluten-free soup, dude. That's why they suck. Okay. There ain't enough bite. There ain't enough seasoning to it. And there's almost no fat, so it doesn't have the greasiness that you get with mm -hmm. the other ones, because they don't fry these noodles. Mm -mm. A regular ramen, they deep fry the noodles, then they dehydrate them. Then they them. dehydrate and put it in the package. Now, with the egg onion and the sriracha, it does have some semblance of a vegetable flavor. It does. Because you added a vegetable? Because you added a vegetable. But the seasoning pack wasn't strong enough. There wasn't enough. And he said he put a whole packet of the salt, of the salt packet. Well, that was about one of these is big, right? And it's still not salty enough for me. But, you know, we're, we're giving it here a chance here. The reason for that is because I haven't eaten anything that's salty in a couple of days. And I've sweated and I've sweated, I've sweated, rode my bike up this mountain twice now, right? And now, granted, 
You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll say that that's probably my own salt deficiency that's telling me that it's not salty enough. But the sriracha and the onion, but here, onion. And people said you were salty. Right, and the onion, right, are giving it more flavor than it actually has. Hey, look. You think I'm scared? Hey, save some for a round two. Man. You think I'm scared here, watch. What? You you're, think I'm scared here, watch. Look, you're, onion. You're want okay. another onion chip, man. Mm-mm. These onion chips are good. I wish we had a piece of foil so we could have roasted the onion in there, you know, a little bit of oil, salt and pepper. Mm. That's what I'm tasting. There's a hint of some vegetable broth. So, they usually call it bullion. Mm -hmm. We're going to call this one bullshit yon. Mm -hmm. Don't waste your money, people. Don't buy these ones. What are these ones? These ones are explore cuisine, vegan. Well, you can't buy them anyway because that store only sells shit that seems it's out of out, companies out of business. No. Yeah. I've had a lot of vegan stuff so far. We're out of glucose bars and they don't make any. They make any of those. I've had, you know, a number, I mean, you remember now, for a year, me and Margaret lived at a vegan restaurant and we cooked a lot, so I tasted a lot of different shit. About a third of all the vegan stuff that I've had has sucked. Stay out. I tried the whole menu she made and mm -hmm. it was all good. Right? <clears throat> And I'm talking about all of it in general. Now, most of the stuff that Amanda made of Amanda Langdon, a side of heart, the restaurant doesn't has out of business now. And most of the stuff that she made was, was fabulous. It was good. Her fucking her fifth her fifth avenue burrito, her fifth street burritos were the shit. Right? You know what I'm saying? But, My favorite was the jackfruit crab cakes. Mm-hmm. That was a good one. And the vegan tacos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're like walnuts. Margaret liked those. Walnuts and cabbage, basically. Mm -hmm. It was good. But some of the store bought vegan stuff I've had oh, sucked raw. I can't wait to get some Beyond Meat. Well, yeah, that stuff was good. I'm, I made the videos. I did reviews on the Beyond Meat crumbles and the Beyond Meat chicken. Look okay. them up. I Get into players' things, reviewing things that never you never get. My favorite, the Gardein Buffalo Wings covered in extra franks because it, the, they come with the dry buffalo sauce it's like in the crumbs it's 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 like a, it's like them tyson ones that are red mm -hmm. so you gotta you gotta cook them and then you know fry them and dump them in real franks is good oh you knew it sucks so bad you can't chew them but like eating rubber bands yeah all right well but it's better than eating tree bark right yes I'm going to throw this at you guys again, one more time. I'll probably do this every 10th video from this point forward. I've already made a video about anything that you can think of, right? They're in the playlist. If you go to my homepage, if you go to the front page, right, if, you, if, you, if you log out of your account, and you, right, and, but you just log into YouTube and you search my name and you go to that front page, there's a little trailer right there that breaks down. The little trailer's me. Hi. It's a breakdown of how my channel works and how the different playlists, right? Or you can click on my homepage and on the, above in the, where the navigation page is, there's a button that says playlists. It's right next to the video, right next to the home. You can click on playlists and it separates all the different playlists that I made. Now, some of these playlists have over 300 videos in them. Other of these playlists only have 15 or, 15 or 20 videos, right? So there's anywhere in between that amount of videos. Now, everything I've ever done in the last five years, is right there, right? I'm saying, if you have a question or, or hey, hey Brian, I'm, uh, did you try this? Yes. Hey Brian, did you do that? Yes. Hey Brian, did you fix this? Yes. Hey Brian, what did you win? Ah, uh, yes. Hey Brian, what? Yes. Right, dude. Everything and anything under the sun, I have made a video about. Right? Am I still going? Yes. Am I making videos today? Yes. Let's check it out. Check it out. This is going to be a video. Right, check it out. Check it out. It's gonna be a video. Check it out. I, no, I already did the video on the uh, clipboard. Right, check it out. It's gonna be a video. You know why? It's gonna, it's gonna be a video because it's important to make sure, right, that you get your message out. And any way you can get your message out is the way you're doing it. Right now, we're doing it with a simple review of these sorry ass fucking Explore Cuisine vegan soups. Right. But I'm hungry. I'm going to eat it. I need to eat it because I haven't eaten much today. <coughs> Even though Mr. Wizard says I got 2,000 calories, but you know what? He did. 
There's a reason why them little tiny vegan girls that weigh 95 pounds in Texas eat fucking gigantic bowls of fucking food. Because 2,000 calories ain't enough. 5,000 calories, barely enough. 8,000 calories, now you're reaching the fucking realm of powering a human being for the course of a day with plant-based food. Right? Hey, a Big Mac? <laughs> 1,500 calories. One Big Mac without the french fries. Yeah, but it's all fat. It's all grease. It's all heartburn. It's all fucking big, log, sticky poops. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's not doing you any good. Right? Yeah. You know what? Probably, I, probably today I've consumed maybe 2,500, 2,800, maybe 3,000 calories with the rocket, the two rocket fuels no, no, and, no, no, no. and the spoonful of fucking caffeine. No. But, see, yeah. look, look, Mr. Woods is going to tell you that I didn't. The soda, each each one of those cups is 220 calories. Mm. Each bottle of the rocket fuel, mm. significantly more. Oh, you finally hit the spot where the seasoning was. I told you to stir it, it was on the bottom. No, I ran out of noodles. I, I barely got noodles up. The, the, the onions and the broth are better than the fucking noodles. What? You what? could have used the noodles as a coaster for the, uh, the mm -hmm. cup to sit on. Probably would have burned probably better than the wood. Yeah, probably could have Would have burned better than the wood, probably. All right, well, this is 12 minutes plus the other three minutes, and uh, we need to get a move on before it gets dark. All right, let me finish this up. This is us. We need the numbers on that one. Oh, the numbers? Uh, <laughs> the numbers are 235 calories, right? 30 calories from fat. There's one serving in this container, right? Total fat calories are three grams, saturated fat 0.5, trans fat zero, cholesterol zero, sodium 464 milligrams, and you dumped in the fucking extra salt, and I'm bitching it's not salty enough. Potassium 1309 milligrams at 37%, right? I'm saying the sodium is 44%. Total carbohydrates 29 grams. I don't believe a word of that. Dietary fibers 11, sugars 8, proteins 23 grams for, for a total of 46% of your daily 2,000 calorie diet. That's bogus, it's bullshit. That's a government lying to you right there. Dude, I, you're getting more calories from eating a fucking onion. The big Brian, sitting in the woods, McDonald pulling on my leg. Thank you.